Let's take a look at how the swim L and B technology works. Here's how the single wire multi-switch or swim L and B works. Each receiver is assigned a specific block of frequency spectrum directly from the L and B. The receiver and L and B communicate using a very low frequency of 2.3 megahertz. That low frequency signal from the receiver selects the proper satellite and polarity for the program requested on that receiver. A designated 100 megahertz frequency block transports signal from the LMB to the receiver in a range between about 970 megahertz and 1870 megahertz. The entire block of frequencies that contain the specific digital information for the channel selected is then sent down the cable at the designated frequency range assigned that receiver. Since each receiver in the system has its own unique block of frequencies, they are all stacked in a row on one single cable and routed to all receivers. The tuner in each receiver is set to receive all its programming information from one specific block of frequency spectrum. Since each receiver has its own specific block of spectrum, no signals above or below that signal range are used. Because the tuner is only looking at the predetermined frequency range, the other frequencies don't interfere. Assigning a specific block of the frequency spectrum to each receiver, then we are able to stack all those blocks sequentially on one cable and feed them through the entire residence. I'm sure you all know what a B-band converter on every KAKU installation does. It converts the lower 250 megahertz to 750 megahertz KA signals up to 1650 megahertz to 2150 megahertz. With the SWIM technology, we need to transport signals in that range directly to the receiver. The B-band converter is not required on any receiver receiving SWIM signals. Don't put a B-band converter on a SWIM L&B powered receiver. <laughs>